This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour Podcast, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. Well, hello, Kansas City. It is Thursday, August 9th, and I think we all know what day it is. It's game day. Get excited. Get that gear ready. Whether you're sitting at home watching the game or you're headed out to Arrowhead, even if you don't have a ticket, go out there and pay that parking fee and, and stay out there with the fans and, and tailgate and, uh, and bring a TV. Bring a TV and watch the game from the parking lot. And I'm sure it'll be broadcasted um, in the parking lot somewhere. But eat your barbecue and, and drink your beer and just get out there and let's support our Chiefs. Um, I can't be more excited about what's coming up. Um, you know, we've been waiting for this moment for for uh, a year now, and um, it's one of those things that uh, we're at the helm of, of Patrick Mahomes, and, and this man is now our starting quarterback, and we have a lot to look forward to, Kansas City. Um, it's going to be an exciting evening. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what the weather's going to do. I should have looked that up, but, uh, but I didn't quite check that out. Um, this is an on-the-road broadcast, and um, sometimes you're not fully prepared. Um, and here's the thing: is really what it boils down to is game one, preseason, 2018-2019 season, Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. That's what matters. That's what matters, folks. And I couldn't couldn't be more excited. Um, I do want to touch base on a couple of injuries that. Um, have everybody a little worried, including myself. Um, Sammy Watkins uh, went out with a hip injury. But they're saying that don't be too worried about it. You know, just keep in mind, sometimes there's just precautionary things that, we you know, we take them out of, out of train camp and, you know, he could have just, you know, tweaked a little something or or just a little discomfort. But um, that's something I'd rather have them pull him out of, you know, practice than, than uh, let him continue and it progress through through the season and, and become something uh, more extreme. Um, you know, and extreme, with that being said, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, my guy Daniel Sorensen, you know, I, I hate to hear it. It's not an ACL tear from what they're saying, but um, yeah, it might be ACL strain or something to do with the meniscus. Um, and it's going to put him out for the first part of the season. So, that's uh, gosh, that's horrible news coming out of, out of training camp. I really, really like Daniel Sorensen. He's been a really big impact for our team for for years now, and you know I touched base on that on you know uh, a few broadcasts ago. He just um, you know he's out there making plays. He makes the best of his opportunity, whether it be on defense or, or special teams, and and he always he always comes to the plate. So. Um, I hope that our our uh, staff will get him back where he needs to be. Daniel, take it easy. Um, sit back, cheer on your Chiefs, and, and uh, just make sure that you um, you know you heal up and and you you do what you need to to get back on the field because we need you. We need you. So, do you, is there say, any type of urgency to go out and you know sign another defensive back? No, no. I would say no. So, so don't worry about that. Um, and look, I mean, you all have to understand that, you know, Reggie Raglan hasn't been on the field, um, you know, until recently. Um, you know, now Daniel Sorensen, Sammy Watkins, um, you know, Kareem Hunt had some time off. So it's one of those things that a lot of these issues are precautionary and just understand that Chiefs Kingdom. Uh, Sammy Watkins is a huge addition. We paid him a lot of money and, um, He's going to be worth it. You know, he really, really is going to be worth it. When you look at him by the numbers, um, what I really, really loved is, you know, he really only had about five, 600 yards receiving last year, but he had eight touchdowns. That's a big playmaker. That's what we want. That's what we want. Um, it's okay to not have the yards. Just get the touchdowns. Get the touchdowns because we got a lot of people to spread the ball around to, and um, it's going to be a big deal. So, um, you know, uh, JJ Watt made a made an awesome statement um, that they're they're preparing for Patrick Mahomes and his huge gun of an arm. It's no secret around the NFL that 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 
Cat is a gunslinger, and um, defenses are already preparing for him. And you know, for a guy like J.J. Watt to recognize that and get, give him his credit, um, you know, that's that's nice. That shows you what we have to look forward to. And also, with the struggles that Mahomes had in training camp, just keep this in mind. We still have a running game, okay? We still have a running game. We'll utilize the play action. Like, there's, there's a lot of things that we're not seeing coming out of training camp that you're going to see in the regular season. So if there's a, a day where Mahomes threw a few interceptions in training camp, well, that's all Mahomes is doing in training camp is throwing, okay? Throwing. So, and we're throwing all kinds of different defensive schemes at him. And, and look, we're going to utilize Hunt um, and Charkandrick West and um, Spencer Ware. I, I really, really look for our running game to be utilized quite a bit. And look, we all know how creative Andy Reid is. We're going to be doing end arounds. You know, there's going to be some, that. Look, remember the last play of uh, the first half against Dallas where, you know, Tyreek Hill ran downfield and. We threw the ball to him, and, and he scored a touchdown before before the half. Um, you know, that was an impossible play. But that's what the Chiefs bring to the table. And now we added even more pieces. So don't worry, Kansas City. Just get excited. Just get excited. Um, the worries that we have are just something that happens when you have so many transitions on your team. So no worries. I really wouldn't concern myself with a lot of those issues and our defense is better than we give it credit for because it's been overshadowed by the offense when you watch ESPN and you um, watch all these networks talk about the Chiefs who's talking about the Chiefs D nobody and if anybody's talking about the Chiefs defense it's usually talking about Eric Berry coming back into the lineup and just remember that Eric Berry is coming back into the lineup huge deal huge deal. Raglan's back. We have Hitchens, D. Ford. Um, I mean, look, it's a big, big deal. And we have Justin Houston. So that's one of those things. Look, it's it's David Amerson. Um, Steven Nelson is stepping it up. Um, and, you know, Sorensen will be back. So just, and, you know, also um, our rookies are making a huge, huge impact. Um it's uh, it's really, really going to be a great year, folks. And that year starts today. Today. Get out there to Arrowhead. If you're not there, you better be watching it on TV. Because if you're any fan of the Kansas City Chiefs, do you really miss a game? And if you do, it's not by choice. So, hey, I remember I said... There, we had, on my Monday, Sunday broadcast, I said you had three days to prepare for this game. Well, game day is here. I hope you all are rested up and ready to go and ready for those hangovers tomorrow because it's, um, it's going to be a fun evening. Um, let's get the excitement going already. I wanted to get this podcast out early today so all of you could hear it. Um, you know, I'd like to consider myself kind of the hype guy. So let's get up. Let's get up and let's get pumped, Kansas City. It is week one. Game one, Arrowhead Stadium, Chiefs, Texans, 830. Get out there, support your team, and go Chiefs! This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour Podcast, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs.